St. Clair County Risa presents Dateline Schools, hosted by Terry Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, have the privilege of learning about the Blue Water Middle College as we're talking with the director from the Blue Water Middle College, Pete Spencer. And, and Pete, I know one thing that high schools, especially the seniors, really look, well, not, maybe not look forward to, but have to do, is working on applications for college scholarships. Are scholarships still available for your students, even though they don't need it for the middle college program, but beyond? Yeah, they are definitely available, and our students are, are reporting back that they've got some great scholarships they're qualifying for. Um, because our students are staying in the middle college uh, through grade 13, they really start the college application process in the fall of grade 13, if you will, a little bit after their, their cohorts at the high school have. Um, so they apply as a freshman though, and this is something we didn't know way back when, uh, but in talking to the colleges and universities, they want the students to apply as a freshman. Um, and what's great about that is it qualifies them for all the freshman scholarships. And there's, there's many more scholarships, uh, merit-based scholarships, there I almost call them automatic scholarships based on your grade point average and uh, SAT scores. So when our students apply, um, hopefully they're hoping to get into the schools, but they're also considered for those freshman scholarships. And we've already this year heard some great reports of students that are getting full tuition scholarships and, and you know, ten, fifteen thousand uh, dollars $15,000 based on their academic performance. And then there's other need-based scholarships that our students are uh, qualify for, just like any student who is uh, leaving at the end of 12th grade. Okay. I know we've talked a lot about the, the whole program, the process and everything. Where can parents, where can students get more information about the Blue Water Middle College, what they need to do to get in? Well, the best thing they can do right now, I think, could be because the application is there, if they go to our website, which is sccresa.org slash BWMC, uh, they'll see information about the Middle College on the page, and then off to the right, there'll be a link to the application and a larger document with more details. So, and then also our contact information. I encourage anyone to just, you'll see my name and, and just just give me a call there if you have questions. Sure. Also, too, most college applications require an essay. Do you guys require that, too? We do not require an essay, but we do require. So when you submit that application, what you'll do then is get a phone call from, from one of us setting up an appointment. And uh, we're out at the schools, our partner schools right now. When this airs, it might be a little past that, but we'll have you come to the Middle College office. And we just want to sit down and have that conversation with you so you know that it's the right uh, uh, place and program for you. A student came up to you and said, Mr. Spencer, why do I, should I consider the Blue Water Middle College? What would you tell them? Well, if they're ready to get started on their, their college experience and uh, have a great chance of succeeding and learning how to succeed in college before they move 100, mm -hmm. 200, 300 miles away, um, and I think they're going to enjoy their classes, then I would say that the Blue Water Middle College is right for them. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. Dayline Schools is a production of St. Clair County Reset.